Let's see what we have here. Here's my old faucet. Leaky and old style. Cola brand. See the leaking right here? And sometimes it leaks down here. See? See the water? And this cover plate is loose. So today we're going to replace it with a cross brand. So after taking like 45 minutes to remove this sink because there are some complications such as the tubing and me not accustomed to plumbing. Anyway, we see that this is a three hole for the center plate. It's probably four hole if you include this for the uh, dishwasher. So since it's a three hole sink, I am going to plug these two with um, soap dispenser, probably hand soap, and then this detergent. And this will be the single faucet head. Now here's my old piece I removed. I had to cut the sprayer because it was disconnected weird. I had a problem removing this because it went foot through this hole right here. But I'm gonna install the cross faucet and see how that goes. What's up YouTube? So I'm finally finished installing this cross KPF 1612 pull out kitchen faucet in chrome color. So let's check it out and see how it operates. Nice chrome finish all throughout the body, cold and hot water. Little dot right here. Pull out handle. Has a kind of way on the bottom. Oh, I need to adjust the kind of way better, but it's supposed to go back. Let's turn on the water. Here's the side button. There's a stream. You have two settings. Stream and shower head. You can remove this. Touch a button. Pretty nice design. Tilts easily. This took me about two hours overall to install. Basically one hour to remove the old faucet and a little bit over an hour to install this new one. I've never done this before so if you are more experienced it will probably take you less time. I paid about $150, a little bit under that from faucet.com with a coupon code. So if you find a better deal, best luck to you. So I recommend this product.